hello friends welcome to today's uh, operating system class and in this class we will see the another important topic from second unit process scheduling and uh, under this class we will discuss the scheduling queues the two types of scheduling queues ready queue and device queue and then queuing diagram after that we will discuss something about the scheduler we are having three types of scheduler short term scheduler long term scheduler and medium term schedulers let us see all those things one by one first uh, let us uh, understand what is process scheduling for example here we are having two types of operating system first one is multi programming operating system and second one is time sharing operating system when come to multi programming operating system here more number of jobs will be executed simultaneously by the operating system that means job is nothing but process okay all the process will be loaded into main memory and the cpu will execute all the process simultaneously hence it is called as multi programming operating system when come to time sharing system the cpu will frequently switch between the users see this is the first user so fifth user and after some time the cpu will switch to six then one two likewise okay so very frequently the cpu will switch between the users okay for Uh, doing these two things that is the multi programming or even the time sharing system we required process scheduler that is we have to select the available process to execute on the cpu because cpu can execute only one process at a time okay either it may be a multi programming or time sharing cpu can execute only one programming at a time so the process scheduler will select the process which is available or which is ready and that will be given to cpu for execution if more number of process then the remaining process will wait until the cpu is free so this is called as process scheduling let us give an example for this here i am going to execute the java program that is i am going to try uh, write the java program by using notepad okay and i am going to execute this java program also and simultaneously i can uh, hear uh, the song audio song audio song by using the media player and simultaneously i am going to download the eclipse by using the chrome and all these uh, jobs will run simultaneously by the cpu without any interrupt of any of the program and next uh, the scheduling queues when process enters into the system then the process will put into the queue which queue is called as job queue or process queue this queue consist of all process in the system okay and they are ready to execute on the cpu and there are two types of queues first one is ready queue and second one is device queue first let us see what is ready queue okay here a process that are residing in main memory and are ready and waiting to execute which will keep kept in a list that list is called as ready queue that is if we create a process that is new process once the process got created then that will be waiting in a queue for executing the executing on the cpu okay and this particular queue is called as ready queue and next one is a list of process waiting for particular io devices okay some process may required some io devices and that will be wait in a queue that queue is called as device queue and each device has its own device queue for example magnetic tape that is some process may require magnetic tape and all those process will wait in a queue that queue is called as tape queue magnetic tape queue likewise disk queue io device queue etc so many device queues are there so we are having two types of queues first one is ready queue and device queue ready queue is a queue which is ready to execute in the cpu that will be waiting in the 
ready queue and device queue used to access those particular devices that will be waiting in corresponding device queue okay and here this diagram explains the ready queue and all the other device queues here the queue is generally stored in a linked list okay so in a linked list for all the queue there is a queue header queue header contains two pointers first one is head header point and second one is tail point head and tail okay here the queue head contains pointers to first and final pcb in the list pcb means process control block isn't it okay so the head will indicate the first pcb and tail will indicate the last pcb of this particular list okay and first one is ready queue ready queue means the process is ready to execute in the cpu that is ready queue and the remaining are device queues and all the other queues are device queues okay here we are having magnetic tape queue in the magnetic tape queue there is no process is waiting so uh, all this will be pointing to nothing okay magnetic tape magnetic tape one unit two unit both units there is no process when come to disk unit see here three process are waiting to access this particular disk zero unit okay and terminal unit only one pcb is there that is only one process is there for every process corresponding pcb is there to maintain all the details and this is the very important queuing diagram representation of process scheduling okay here we are having two types of queues first one is ready queue and second one is a set of device queues so this is the ready queue and all the other queues are a set of device queues okay in this diagram the rectangular box represent the queue okay rectangular box so this is the ready queue and all the other device queues are also represent in a rectangle and the circle represent the resources that serves the queues okay here the circle represent the cpu and this is io devices and child needs to be execute and interrupt occurs okay so it it gives the resources and arrow which indicate flow of process in the system in which direction in which direction the process will be flow okay so the arrow indicates this is new, new process will be given to ready queue and then that process will be given to cpu so arrow represent the flow process when new process created see new process created then the process will wait in the ready queue once the process got dispatched dispatched by the scheduler then the process will access the cpu for execution <coughs> okay while executing this cpu many events may be occurred first the process may request an io devices for execution further execution then that will wait in the io queue corresponding io queue then it will go back to the ready queue otherwise if there is time slice expired then automatically that will go back to ready queue and sometimes it may create a new child process by calling the fork function okay then the process will be terminated until the child got executed right and other one is the in, is suppose if any interrupt occurs then the process forcibly exit from the cpu and that will go back to ready queue the next one is scheduler so in the process of uh, process execution it will migrate among various scheduling queues throughout this lifetime and the process selection will be carried out by the scheduler okay in each queue the process will be selected for 
the next purpose isn't it so the selection will be carried out by the scheduler here we are having three types of scheduler first one is short term scheduler and long term scheduler next one is medium term scheduler the short term scheduler is otherwise called as cpu scheduler because the cpu will execute more number of process at a time that is very often the scheduler will assign the process to the cpu okay because the process are in ready queue and the cpu is here the scheduler will very often very frequently assign the process to the cpu hence it is short term scheduler and when come to long term scheduler all the other schedulers that is other than ready queue scheduler are called as long term scheduler that is device scheduler the long term scheduler is otherwise called as job scheduler why because the scheduling will be taken place only after completion of first process okay if one job completed then only the other job will be given for execution hence it is called as long term scheduler the next one is medium term scheduler the modern operating systems will use only this medium term scheduler in this scheduler it will remove the process from the memory that is from the main memory to reduce the degree of multi programming after some time the process will be reintroduced to memory and the execution will be continued okay and the process is removed from memory is called as swap out then the process will again loaded into memory is called as swap pin and this is called as swapping okay see when new process is created and that will be waiting in the ready queue once the process is scheduled to cpu then when partial executed process will be swapped out from the memory and after some time it will again loaded into the memory and that will be come to the ready queue for further execution okay so this is the medium term scheduler in this lecture we have seen the process scheduling and we have seen the scheduling queues and different types of queues that is ready queue device queue after that we have seen this process queuing diagram then the schedulers we are having three different types of schedulers short term scheduler long term scheduler and medium term scheduler now this is question time students please list the different queues which are available in our queuing diagram that is in our example diagram how many queues are there and list those queues in the comment box and if you have any doubt you just write in the comment box thank you